What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing an Exeggutor team from Evan. Thank you, Evan, for posting this team. Looks super cool. Now, the basic idea is Exeggutor is going to be an expanding force Psy spam user next to this Ndidi. What you can do is you can use Ndidi and Hatterene, set up Trick Room, and sweep with Exeggutor that way. Or you could bring in Torkoal to make Exeggutor fast and Psy spam that way. Uh, this team also has a fast mode with Urshifu and Iron Bundle, which is super quick with this Scarf Urshifu and a Booster Speed Bundle. Just goes blazingly fast, in case you don't want to go with the Ndidi Hatterene mode. But anyway, let's see how it does. Alright, what can we do against this? Ooh, they got a Rampardos. Also Blood Moon, Mimikyu, Incineroar, Torkoal, and Water Ogre Pond. Alright, well, if we're gonna go Psy Spam, our biggest problem is that Incineroar. And our best answer to that Incineroar is probably Urshifu. So I don't mind... Hmm. Which mode would I want to start out on? They clearly have a Trick Room or Anti-Trick Room mode of their own with that Mimikyu. Perhaps I want to... Definitely bringing Urshifu. Perhaps I want to lead with the Egg Indeedee. Or rather the Egg Torkoal. Make them think they can use priority. And then turn that off. And then bring in Indeedee and Urshifu. It might be faster than most of their team anyway. So honestly, I don't know if I need Torkoal at all. Iron Bundle might be pretty solid, but I will bring Torkoal. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> Size spamming with a tree, let's go. Let's see what this thing can do. They haven't changed their trainer card. Aw. All right, it's an Ogre Pond Incineroar lead. They're ready for Scythe. Got it. That's cool. That Incineroar is really big. Okay. Uh, do you have like Snarl or do you just have Knock Off and stuff? Because I would love to just throw an Expanding Force at that Ogre Pond like right away. I think that'd be pretty cool. But, I could also Sleep Powder. I don't know if Sleep Powder is the play. You could be Goggles there. You don't have a second Grass Immunity. Goggles would make a lot of sense. But I'm just gonna Expanding Force and Follow Me to start. And let's see what you do. Well, they haven't chosen yet, so. They weren't super psyched about this lead. Uh, just a spiky shield, so I'm gonna be doing no damage this turn. Okay. Are you going to knock out Indeedy with like a knockoff? Alright, I am faster than your Incineroar, which I should be unless you're max speed. And it is just a knockoff Indeedy, which. Indeed, he takes pretty well. Take a little Rocky Helmet chip. Good, good, good. It's probably an Ivy Cudgel into Indeedy, and then they try to knock off Exeggutor. I could swap in Urshifu. For the NDD, maybe, and protect. Do I really want to preserve NDD that badly? Maybe not. Maybe I just want to get some Dazzling Gleam Chip and let NDD go down. Now they're terrestrializing. It must be the Ogre Pond. That means they can't terrestrialize their Incineroar to get away from the close combat later. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not expanding force this turn, just, just gonna let Indeedee go down if 
you want a DD to go down, that is. They could be doubling the trade here. Nope, they just Ivy Cudgel right into Indeedee. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And now is expanding force stronger than a super effective energy ball? Expanding force is 120 plus a 30% boost. No, energy ball would be more. So I'm going to throw an energy ball at Ogre Pond and just a close combat at the Incineroar. Though, are they going to swap out the Incineroar? Then Expanding Force will be better. Yeah, I think I'll go for Expanding Force, actually. And just close combat into Incineroar. Just in case they want to swap in to, like, I guess they could go into Mimikyu or something. That would be a little awkward. But then we would at least break its disguise. All right, what are you gonna do? I've got you pinned, I hope. Okay, they do swap. I guess that would be Mimikyu maybe? It is Mimikyu, got it. All right. Well, this expanding force should put your Ogre Pond into close combat range, at least. Yeah, Hor oh, Horn Leech didn't even do half. That's all right. Yeah, perfect. Now I might even want to go for a expanding force with Psychic Boost. Is there something else to use Terra on? Not particularly. Expanding force. Close combat. Alright, who are you swapping into? Is this Incineroar? Yeah! I'm cool with that. Now, it's only a minus one close combat, so I guess you could live this time. But we are gonna try to blow up Mimikyu at the same time. I haven't really made much progress yet, but I'm putting on a lot of pressure this turn, so hopefully I can get a knockout. Close combat does almost all of Incineroar. Okay. Do you have a berry? No, no, they have a eject button. Oh, I get to expanding force two things. Awesome. Yeah, go into whoever. I'd love to hit it. And you know what I'm doing, I Terra Psychic. And I assume your Mimikyu is slow, so I'll get the Expanding Force before Mimikyu gets to attack. It might be a play rough into Urshifu, they could maybe take this. Uh, and they're just giving up Rampardos, I see. Yep, we are faster than the Mimikyu, or at least going before it. And Mimikyu hangs on just barely. Alright. Oh, but they go for Destiny Bond. No, I don't care. I don't care about that Mimikyu. But how do I react to that now? Now, we know we're both faster than Mimikyu. They'll go either into Incineroar, which can't fake out, or Ogre Pond. And my play would be... I could close combat into Ogre Pond. That would... That probably wouldn't knock it out at minus one. And they could go to minus two if they swap Mimikyu. So I think I'm going to Energy Ball the Ogre Pond. And bring in Torkoal. Reset the move my Urshifu is using so I can Wicked Blow everything down. Bring in Torkoal to weaken Ivy Cudgel. And speed up the egg guy. Yeah. And we're not going to expand in course because we don't want to hit that Mimikyu just yet. Maybe they'll want to set up Trick Room or something, which would be fine by me. Alright, does it do it? It does do it. Bye, Ogre Pond. <laughs> Thank you for the support, Torkoal. 
We might be out of terrain soon, though. And then it's just a Shadow Claw in the right side of Okay. Weirdness disappears. Now, they have Shadow Claw and Destiny Bond. I don't think they would have Shadow Sneak. But I mean, Urshifu's got this cleaned up anyway, so I think we just protect twice this turn. Yeah, their only way of punishing a double protect is like setting Trick Room, which Torkoal would love. Yeah, we should be good. Just double protect, battle's canceled. Good game, Exeggutor. Love it. Love it. Alright, here we're facing a Sun team? They've got Walking Wake, they've got Venusaur, they've got Fluttermane, Incineroar, Metagross, and then Thunderous. Thunderous probably wants to set the Sun. That's fine. I mean, Exeggutor likes the Sun. Though not as much as any of your guys, so we might want to go the Trick Room route. Uh, who do they have for Expanding Force? They have Metagross, which is actually pretty annoying for Exeggutor. And they have Incineroar, of course. They always have Incineroar. So we want... Perhaps we want to go in DD Hatterene Trick Room mode. This time. Well, just Incineroar Metagross. How do we handle that? Well, we bring in Torkoal. But am I gonna not bring Exeggutor? No. No, I want to bring Exeggutor. So... In that case, maybe it's Indeedy Exeggutor. Try to get Trick Room up that way. If not, no big deal. And then Torkoal and Urshifu. Urshifu I think would be nice against the Metagross as well. Hatterene I don't hate, but I don't love. I think this might work. That's what I'm gonna go with. Incineroar is a little bit of a problem for Psy Spam, but it's nothing Urshifu can't handle. Let's do it. I'm going to trust the egg. I'm going to put all my eggs in the egg basket. They didn't have a cool trainer card either. Man. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it'd be. Sad. All right. What do I want to do about it? I kind of want to get in Torkoal one way or another. Perhaps I just want to follow me and bring in Torkoal. No, maybe I want a Trick Room and Sleep Powder. Yeah, I like that. You're not doing anything. And then you just Heavy Slam against Exeggutor. That does damage, but it's okay. Now you're nice and sleepy, and we get up the Trick Room. Perfect. Now, I go for Follow Me and bring in the Torkoal. And then finally, on turn 3, I'll consider launching an actual attack. Alright. Sun is up. You wanted Sun, so you're gonna get Sun. And I'm hoping Incineroar stays asleep one more turn. Yes, it does. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we are not going to lose the game. And get a little chip on the cross while we're at it. Alright. Helping Hand. Terra Fire Eruption. Here we go. That's the play. They probably Terrastalize Metagross. Or protect it if they can. Maybe they swap into something. I think they have, they have Walking Wake. That could take it. Yep. Nope. Oh, we're Terrasalizing first. Right. Right, 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 right. Torkoal's actually fast right now. And scary. 
Now, if they don't terrestrialize Metagross, that's just a no more Metagross. Yeah, here it comes. I'm hoping we do some decent damage to both anyway. Like, I know this isn't gonna get the double KO. Yeah, Dragon, that's reasonable. But maybe we'll be in two shot territory. Alright, clap up that turtle. Launch the big, powerful eruption. Ooh, great damage! Wow! Yeah, Incineroar, you got a berry, that's okay. And you're still asleep. Wow, three turn sleep. Thank you, Eggy. And the Psychic Fangs and the Torkoal brings us to half. Cool. I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam, because that'll take out Metagross. And maybe Earth Power the Incineroar? I guess Indeedy might not be as slow as the Metagross is. Metagross is neutral, is 90 speed. Oh, we're 90 speed. If they have no investment on their Metagross, it's a speed tie. So yeah, I'm comfortable Dazzling Gleaming. And I'll just Earth Power the Incineroar. Oh, they just swap out Metagross anyway. Okay. Into a walking wake. That's fine by me. Now the problem is Incineroar is slower than Indeedee, so I don't think Earth Power knocks it out and then it'll get a move off. Oh yeah, it just lives barely. And wakes up and Oh, just knock off into Torkoal. We don't even lose Torkoal yet. Cool. And your Incineroar is gone. Alright, time to get Indeedee back out so we can size spam. But it might not matter much. And they've got Thunderous. Okay. What are our turns on everything? Last turn of Psychic Terrain, last turn of Trick Room, an extra turn of Sun after this. see the booster on that walking wake, which is kind of annoying. I think I want... Hmm. I don't really care much about preserving the psychic terrain. I'm gonna go for a helping hand heat wave. They swap out Thunderous. Sacking Metagross? Okay. Who is now floating? And Walking Wake. Eh, it might, it might just attack. Yeah, it did just attack. Okay. We take out Metagross. And Walking Wake's down to half. That's pretty good. Now you just have Thunderous and Walking Wake. Flamethrower into Indeedee. Cool. Twistedness is gone. Weirdness is gone. And Scarf Urshifu is in. Now, I just want to sucker punch the walking wave. That's all I want to do. Honest. And then I'll throw a heat wave. Now. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And Walking Wake is gone. Good. That was the right play. Bye, Wake. And now, presumably, you are going for. Oh, just Thunderbolt. That's cool. Now I get a Terra boosted. No longer charcoal in the sun, single target heat wave. And Thunderous is almost gone. Awesome. Well, your options are to attack and go down to Sucker Punch, or not attack and go down to Heat Wave. Good game. Egg did do something, it put it's in a row to sleep for three turns. Alright, now they've got 
maybe three dark types. Psy Spam might not be the way. They've got Rillaboom, King Gambit, Urshifu, Sneasler, Chen Pao, and Fluttermane. Okay, how do we handle King Gambit? We handle King Gambit with either Urshifu or Torkoal. In fact, their whole team is a little weak to Torkoal. We have to do a Torkoal mode. So we have to do a Trick Room into Torkoal with Exeggutor cleanup in the back. I like that. I think this is time for Psy Spam and then Sun, and then when, when the Psychic, I guess the Psychic would run out around the same time Trick Room runs out. Maybe we can save Indeedee and bring it out again. Maybe we don't Psy Spam at all. Maybe we just use Exeggutor with its single target moves. Either way, that's what I like. I also kind of like Dark Urshifu here. But if we're putting up Sun, Fluttermane might end up outspeeding anyway. And they have their own Urshifu, which could definitely take a Dark move. They've got a lot of Dark resist. I'd have to lock into Close Combat. Yeah, I think this is the play. I think we're going Psy Spam mode. Full Psy Spam. All the Psy Spammers. Three Psychic types and a turtle. Against your possibly three Dark types. Was this the play? I hope so. I hope so. Now what do you got? King Gambit and Lillaboom. That's interesting. Rillaboom lead I did not expect. King Gambit, sure. But okay, well I'll just go ahead and follow me Trick Room. I'm fine with that. Hmm. Rillaboom. Like, bringing Rillaboom makes sense, but I don't, I don't see it as the lead here. And you're terrestrializing? Oh, you know what would be pretty cool? No, it's just King Gambit. Wait, you want me to Psy Spam you? What are you doing? That's great against Torkoal later, but now I get to Psy Spam something. Unless you can Oko Indeedee. I was going to say it would have been really cool is the Rillaboom going for Terra Grass Woodhammer, knocking out Indeedee. That would have been a pretty cool play. Don't do that, you just do this. And now I've got you right where I want you. And I think I do go with Oracle anyway, because their swap into Expanding Force now is Chen Pao, which would not appreciate an eruption. Uh, do I burn Terra yet? Because I'm pretty sure Psy Spam, or I mean Expanding Force plus Eruption can do it. And their swap in would be... Darker Shifu might be able to take that hit if it's sashed. Yeah, I don't see any reason to Terra. We've got Water Terra here. I guess maybe we need more damage on King Gambit if it's Assault Vest? I might as well fully commit. We've got limited turns of Trick Room. I gotta go all out the whole time. Yeah, get Rillaboom out of there so you can turn off the size fan. Uh, just sack Fluttermane. That's cool. I don't mind that. that Fluttermane looks pretty big. Uh, and it's Speed Booster, yeah. So bringing Dark Urshifu wouldn't have been that great. Cool. Alright, we'll put the candles on the turtle. And hopefully we don't wrap this game up before the egg guy gets to come back in. Yeah, no protect from the King Gambit, so this should be a double knockout. Ton of damage to the King Gambit, too. Uh, next, they're gonna bring back in Rillaboom, and they'll have a fake out. And the expanding force will be a lot weaker. And then who would their last be? Because they have a last that is scary. Um, I guess... I don't know who would be scary. Chen Pao? Would at least be Sash. 
so we can definitely get a hit off. No, it's Sneasler. You're gonna get a grassy seed boost, aren't you? Yeah, all right. Then, who is our main target? That's a lot of trick room left, wow. Uh, well, we just erupt. Because it's not like Grassy Glide is going to take us out of a good range for eruption. And then I want to just expanding force at this thing, because I don't... I don't know, I think that's better than taking out Rillaboom. Just to knock out the Sneasler. Like, you have to fake out Torkoal to even have a Rillaboom. Yeah, okay. Goodbye, Sneasler. Single target spanning force still does something when you're four times weak to it. <laughs> yep, we all get our healing. And I throw another eruption. Do I bring in the tree now? No, there's still two turns of trick room. Well, if you protect here, then I'll bring in the tree. But nope, battle is canceled. And that is three matches one for this tree. He didn't show up in this tree, this battle, but that's three wins for him. Okay, we're fighting Iron Crown, Indeedee, Urshifu, Chiyu Fluttermane, and Annihilate. That's interesting. All right, do I want to go with the egg. Psy Spam gets stopped by that Chiyu pretty hard. Chiyu is a problem for the Psy Spam, especially if they have something like Snarl. Uh, we could use Iron Bundle, which would be faster than their whole team, and do some sort of Icy Wind Urshifu combo. That could be pretty spicy. I think we're gonna show off the other mode. I'm only doing this fourth match because I'm one match away from Master Ball because I'm doing this right at the be recording this right at the beginning of February. So th yeah, I think I'm going to try out this mode and then maybe do I want to have Torkoal anyway? They might go with their own Psy spam mode. Let's see Torkoal isn't the word. Maybe I could do Torkoal Executor in the back. They don't have, other than Chiyu, they don't have a lot that stops that combo, and I'm gonna rely on them to set up the Psychic Terrain for me. Which hopefully they do, but they might just not. But this way I'm still bringing the Exeggutor, which is the whole point of playing this team. And it looks like they may have timed out, so that would mean no Chiyu. Which would be awesome. I would love to see no Chiyu. So if they lead Crown and Indeedee, there's a chance they didn't bring the Chiyu at all. And it would mean that they're setting up Psychic Terrain for me, which is perfect. No, they did lead with Chiyu. Chiyu and Indeedee. Okay. You've got your beads. You've got your Psychic Surge. I've got my booster energy. And no Psychic Seed from you. Okay. How do I want to approach this? Obviously I want to close combat into that Chiyu, but that's not going to be possible right away. I could... just Wicked Blow their Indeedee. I don't know if they would commit Terra Fairy right away. I could just Wicked Blow their Chiyu. And protect my Iron Bundle for now. That's what I'm going to start with. Okay. Bundle protects itself. And it's just a follow me from Indeedee. That's fine. Uh, now let's see our speed tiers. Are you also... No, I don't think you're also strong. And Indeedee is gone. Great. Oh, and it's a crit! It's always a crit. Yep, you have Rocky Helmet, that's what I thought. 
Now don't like overheat my Urshifu. Just a heat wave. Now don't be like specs and just knock me out right away. Yeah, I, I specifically asked that you not do that. I, I guess you weren't listening, but I specifically requested you to not do that. I cannot believe you did that. Now what do I do about that? That heat wave is a problem. I'm gonna go into Exeggutor here. Hmm. And they bring in their Iron Crown. We have a Sash on Exeggutor to use. We could Icy Wind, but then I'd have to throw a Sleep Powder because I'm not doing much damage. But I should be faster. Maybe I'll just throw a Sleep Powder at the Chi Yu and an Icy Wind. Get them slowed down a bit. Handle it from there. Oh, and we've got a Terra going on. You're tearing the Chi Yu? It's into Ghost. I don't get that. I could have just expanding force that turn. Alright, we connect Cold Icy Winds. That's good. Now, Exeggutor should be faster than both of those. We missed the Sleep Powder. Which, I mean, that happens. And yeah, both of these bonds are gone, and it's just Torkoal V World. Good game. I guess I'm not getting into Master Ball with Executor. Alright, Executor, you had to miss the Sleep Powder. I get it. I don't get why they terrestrialize into ghosts. And there's no way a Torkoal lives a single target expanding force with Beads of Ruin active. Even if we dodge the Heat Wave. So I'm going to run this, and we are going to take the 3-1 record. Alright, here's the rental team again. Thank you so much, Evan, for posting this. Exeggutor is super cool. I especially love how on this team it can be both slow and fast, either triggering the chlorophyll or just operating under Trick Room. I think that's super sick. What I don't like about it is Sleep Powder, but that's really just the nature of Sleep Powder. That's not your fault. Maybe it's my fault for clicking it in the first place. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright, peace.